so I wanted to do a quick vlog. Um, I'm actually doing really well. Um, I Last night was the first night I did not take anything for my mood um, or to help me sleep because I wanted to see how I did with nothing because it's been so long since I haven't taken anything. Um, and I slept for seven hours and I was really tired. Uh, so that's good. Um, I am being really careful. I saw my therapist today. We talked about it. Uh, we also kind of verbally explored different medications for bipolar um, because my mania is usually more concerning right now. Um, it's been a long time since I've had a major depressive phase. My last depressive phase it, it was, I would say it was moderate compared to some of the ones I've had in the past. Um, I, I'm doing well. I'm sticking to my schedule. I'm not gaining weight, which is good. Because I gained a lot of weight on the Seracol really quickly, which is why I switched to Abilify. Um, my physical symptoms are almost completely gone. Um, and just cutting down from the 20 to the 10 made it so much better. Um, I could still tell I was still having some side effects, but it was not so unbearable. I thought I was going to lose my mind. Um, but still more than I'm comfortable dealing with on a long-term basis. Um, I, I did call my psychiatrist's office and I spoke with the nurse. And of course my psychiatrist had told her to tell me. Uh, that he did not advise that I go off of it because I had been I was doing so well and the nurse was a little more understanding and she said she pointed out to him that yeah but she's having side effects and she doesn't like the way it's making her feel so she talked to me about how I had said I wanted to wean myself off and she said that if I really wanted to do that 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 was a safe way to do it and it was fine so um, I have done that I have also let all of the people that are close to me know that I have done that. And to, uh, like I mentioned before, let me know if they see any kind of symptoms of my mania. I've, I've spoken with them about what those are. They watch my vlogs, um, one or the other, and for some of them both. So it, I feel confident that they care about me enough and are comfortable enough to be honest with me and say, you know what, you're kind of being a little, you're going, you're being a little, you know how you get, <laughs> you're kind of getting to how you are. So, um, also I think just getting my sleep back does help control it. Um, I think I already said I'm sticking to my schedule. I'm waking up at the same time every day. I'm trying to be in bed at the same time every day within, you know, 20 minutes or so. Um, I'm doing things, but I'm not trying to do an extraordinary amount of things. I'm not doing things that I find really stressful. I did mention to my therapist, I kind of had a mild sort of panic attack. Um, I had applied for social security disability over a year ago. My hearing is next month for my physical problems and they have added my bipolar to it um, since I had <clears throat> so much difficulty with it this last year. Um, but I, I just, I just started freaking out and thinking I can't, I can't go sit in a courtroom in front of a judge and, you know, have to talk about how useless I am <laughs> now, you know, it was just, um, so I kind of freaked out a little bit. Um, and I think I'm going to call my, the hearing officer and see if they can, they can do it through video. Plus it's a two hour drive almost to where I have to go and sitting causes flare ups for me. So then I would end up being physically jacked up just going there. So I, I think that might be a little less panic inducing for me to be able to do it through like a webcam sort of situation. Um, and sort of talking myself down from that. That's kind of what I said. You know what? You can request a video thing. It's fine. Um, so I'm going to do that. 
Uh, the situation with my in-laws is actually really good. We have a place for them to go. They're going to be moving within, oh, they're going to be moving within about a week. And they'll be closer to us, so it'll be easier for us to help and do things and make sure everybody's getting what they need. Um, so it, that's been a huge kind of weight that's been lifted to knowing that there's a plan and that we have things in place and that it's all been worked out. You know, having things up in the air can be very anxiety inducing for anyone, you know, whether you have mental health issues or not, that's always very stressful. So because I've gotten rid of a lot of the things that are were stress going on that were kind of stressful, I think that's going to help me maintain my mood a little bit better. Um, I am keeping in very close contact with my therapist. I can text her whenever I need to if something's going on. And she always gets back to me. She's amazing. So that's all for now. I will keep you all posted. Um, and I am looking at a couple other apps to review. So I will post those as soon as I have a chance. I hope everyone is taking care of themselves.